Hey guys, I'm sitting in the parking lot about to go into Avery's follow-up appointment from when she got all of her ties released at the pediatric dentist. I'm sure you can hear her. She's not happy. I think she's just tired and she hates the car seat. So we're going to go in. They're going to take a look at her mouth. We've been doing the stretches three times a day. It's been a week and a half since she got the procedure done. She got it done last Monday and today's Wednesday. So we'll see how it's looking. I'm hoping our stretches, we've been doing them right and that it's been keeping the ties from reattaching. That's why you do the stretches so that they don't reattach and you need the procedure again. So I'm hoping everything looks okay. I guess we'll see. I can definitely tell a difference in her latch. She's latching deeper, not so much clicking sound, which is good, but she's still not taking bottles. And so I'm hoping that soon enough that will happen. I don't know. So let's go in and we'll see how things are looking. Okay, Avery, here we are, back at the dentist. They said they're going to do stretches on you, I'm so sorry. Yeah, that's not fun, is it? She had a cute outfit on and she spit up all over it, so. Now we're just in a sleeper. It is what it is, but we get a bow. What are you doing, Porter? Getting your golf club? Yeah. Okay. So the boys got a new toy. Anthony's grandma's neighbor bought these toys for her grandkids and they didn't want them. So she asked if we wanted them and we said yes. So one of them was this cute little golf set. Comes with like a little caddy, two golf clubs and a bunch of balls and then a hole that you can put the balls into. So the boys have been loving playing with that. And another one was like a little steering wheel, so you can pretend you're like a NASCAR driver. And they like that one. And then she also got us a baseball kit, but we already have it. It comes with like the tee and the bat and some baseball. So I'm gonna hang on to that and maybe give it to like one of my siblings once their kids get older. What's a tee? Tee? Yeah. It's a line with a cross. And Grayson's riding stuff with sidewalk. he's working on right now and Avery is napping we are home from the dentist obviously that appointment was so short and so fast way different compared to the first time we went where we were there for like four hours this time they got us in and out just checked her mouth and I'm so proud of myself they said she's looking great um, all the sites where they did the procedure are healing great she said that under the tongue was like almost already healed which is awesome and they said if anything i could do um a little bit more on her upper lip it was starting to reattach a little bit so they fixed it for me got rid of that attachment and they said i just need to be like you have to like stretch the lip up and then you have to like rub back and forth i just wasn't rubbing far enough over so like the one corner was starting to reattach but other than that they said it's looking so good so much better and they said they don't need to see her again so that was it we are done and they said i just need to do it for two more weeks May might have to do the upper lip a little more just because it was so severe it was such a bad tie even then it shouldn't be too much more so super happy with that that appointment went so well so glad that avery is recovering um, everything like i said has been going really well with recovery and i definitely feel a difference and see a difference the only thing i'm not seeing a difference in is the bottle she's still not taking bottles uh, my mom just got us a new bottle to try and it's the same as all the others. Um, I had to go into a work meeting this morning so Anthony had all three kids and he tried to give Avery this new bottle and he said she just ended up puking afterwards so she wouldn't really... The problem is she doesn't even try and like latch onto it. She, she won't even do that. She only latches onto my boob. So that's just not good news unfortunately um the only bottle that we seemingly have luck with and that's even like a tiny 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 bit is the lanisso bottles they're the purple ones so i guess we'll just keep trying and hopefully she'll take it my mom was saying that she just needs to take avery for like a day and just give her the bottle as the only option and then hopefully 
that would work, but I mean, that's tough love, so I don't know. It's really hard. Anyway, Na Avery's napping. Anthony is working out. He should be back soon. And then he's having some of his friends over tonight. I don't like it when his friends come over. I mean, they just stay in the basement, but it's like, I don't know. You just feel like when you have company over, like you can't just be how you want to be. So maybe I'll take the kids to the park or something. Right now we're just hanging out outside. I was pulling some weeds. Anthony did some hedge trimming for the first time. We've never done that before. And so I was going to pick up some of those leaves and branches and put them in bags. Well, it's pulling well off the Oh. That's okay. It's outside. He can do that. And Look. the boys are playing with the water table now. Gray, are you going to play with the golf set? I want to see you make a, a score with the golf. Or do you want to practice your baseball skills? How about we draw a golf? How about we draw a golf goal? A golf goal? Yes. Okay. A golf goal. Okay. First what? playing with the water table. Are you going to do some more golf? First what? Well, why don't you bring it out? You can look at see what it looks like. I it's over here in the golf caddy. The golf caddy? Mm -hmm. What does golf caddies do? It just holds all the supplies. So anyway, we're just hanging out. Um, it's been like a really busy couple weeks. Just June, for some reason, June is super crazy busy. Grayson's doing swim lessons twice a week in the mornings. Next week, he starts vacation Bible school for the first time, so that'll be fun. We've been going on walks a lot, trying to get in shape for this cruise. And I've been working a little bit more because Anthony's been home and watching the kids. We're a week and a half into his paternity leave, so we're halfway. This is halfway right here, and then we have another week and a half to go. Yeah, I think that's kind of it. So good news on Avery's tongue tie, lip tie cheek tie all that um, but if you have any tips for getting her to take the bottle please let me know because I am getting desperate we are going on a cruise in a little over a month a month and a half and we are not taking Avery with us because they don't let babies on the cruise ship so my sister's gonna watch her but I'm not going to be able to go if she can't take a bottle. If she doesn't take a bottle, then like I just simply can't go. I'm going to have to stay. We already bought the tickets for the cruise ship and the plane and everything. And so I really need her to take a bottle so that I don't have to have any worries going to this cruise. So we'll see. Um, we still have time, but we're running out of time. And then also Porter has seemed to come down with a cold. I'm not sure exactly where he got it from, but I mean, who really has colds? in the summer and Grayson's not in preschool anymore so it's not like we got it from there we did go to the library last Friday and did like some cute little like they had like a song and dance program that they did so we could have got it from there or we went and saw our friends like a week and a half ago and their kids are in daycare and so I wonder if we maybe we got it from them but Porter has just been miserable runny nose cough and then last night about 11 o'clock at night he started like having symptoms of croup barking cough having a hard time breathing all that stuff which Grayson had that back in the fall in October and it freaked us out but now we're a little more well versed in it so we weren't as worried about it but yeah just not fun trying to keep him away from Avery I'm hoping she doesn't get it I'm hoping Anthony and I don't get it and I'm hoping Gray doesn't get it although I think maybe Gray already had it or is getting it because he has a cough so colds in the summer like can we catch a break I swear it just stinks unless we're just like in this little bubble of our home and don't go anywhere and see anyone then our kids won't get sick it's just ridiculous
You guys, I kid you not, like five minutes ago, she was screaming, crying. And then I got her naked and changed her diaper and now she is a changed baby. She's so happy. She's kicking and she's talking. Yeah. She's getting so much more animated. She's so big. She's two and a half months. You're so big. You're so big. So it's a little later in the day. I wanted to go to the park, but the boys were having too much fun playing that like WWE game that Avery loved watching. And then we just like read books and I did some laundry and nothing really exciting. The boys are in bed now and Avery and I are just partying. We still have her seven to nine like party time where we keep her awake, but as she's getting older, she's kind of settling into a routine now. And the past two or three days now, in the evening i've put her down at like four ish and she's taken like a very short nap maybe a half hour to an hour and then she'll be up like five on and so it doesn't really make sense for me to keep her up from like five to nine that's ridiculous and so i find that i've been putting her to bed a little bit earlier i think last night i put her to bed at like 8 30 and in the past here and there i've put her to bed early just to kind of see what would happen shockingly she's actually done really well with it she still sleeps um she was doing a lot better before the tongue tie procedure and she was sleeping basically through the night till like maybe 6 a.m sometimes sleeping all the way through the night till 7 7 30. ever since we got the tongue tie thing done she's been waking up back again at like 3 30 4 a.m um it's only once which isn't too bad but she'll do that and then she'll wake up at like 7 30 and just be up for the day so she's starting to get a routine in the morning and starting to get more of a routine at the at the evening and then during the day it's kind of up in the air she'll do like a really long nap at like 9 30 10 if we get her in the crib Sometimes we're just like out and about. And so it's like, wake, sleep, awake, sleep. So it just kind of depends, but she is definitely getting more into a routine, which is, I think good, but can be kind of restricting because then you're like home all the time because the baby needs to sleep all the time. So we'll see, but she's getting so big. I still need to do her um, two month old update for you guys. Maybe tomorrow I can get to it. I've just been so busy these past couple weeks. like. I usually do her updates during nap time and I swear every nap time I'm out doing things or she's sleeping. So I need to try to time it up better. Maybe tomorrow I can get it. But I think that's going to be it for this vlog. It was kind of just us hanging out, but it was good news about Avery's mouth and how it's healing. She's doing good. I need to do her stretches again before she goes to sleep. She's not going to like it. But the dentist did say that she should do better with them as they as time goes on and as they heal more. So I'm hoping because I just feel so bad when I do it. Whenever I do it, it puts her into a bad mood. I try to catch her when she's already kind of getting fussy and grumpy. I hate doing it when she's happy like this because then it instantly changes her mood and she does not go back to happy for a long time. So that's the bummer about it, but it was so worth it. I totally recommend getting it done if your baby needs it because she definitely needed it for sure. They were showing me before and after pictures today and it's just like the difference is striking, especially the lip tie. It was like pulling so much tension on her gums where your teeth, where your top teeth come out. It was like white and today it's pink because there's no more tension on those gums. So she's doing so much better with that not doing better on the bottles though we're still working on that but anyway that's gonna be it and i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know down below if you have any experience with tongue lip cheek ties and i will see you guys in the next video bye say bye Avery. say goodbye say goodbye say see you later i'm gonna keep kicking gonna talk?